I'm buying Suka cards. Well, the screen's so reflective. Say why. Because. Say what it is. It's like the Metro Pass. And you just load money onto it. And um, it costs 500 yen for the deposit on the card. And but but you get all that money back when you leave, and any um, remaining balance as well. But we forget it's fine. Even if we put too much money on it, we get it back. But it costs 220 yen in like a fee. But whatever, that's fine. And the card's cute. It's got a penguin on it. Okay, this is Akihabara Main Station. Um, today we're trying to get to Tokyo Station and Shibuya and Harajuku. Uh, we're staying really close to the Yamanote line, which is the main line. Um, it takes you through to pretty much all the main things you want to do in Japan, and it's probably the best place you should stay um, being on that line. So it'll take you to places like Shinjuku, Shibuya, Harajuku, and all that sort of stuff. And Akihabara, if you haven't stayed here. And this is Tokyo Main Station. And we're trying to find the underground area because there's going to be like plenty of shopping and stuff under there. Oh, is this the underground? Yeah. Okay, we are in the underground area. Oh, scratch that. This is the underground area of Tokyo Station. And there is so many shops around down here. And Sally keeps getting sidetracked looking at every little shop. You can only buy this Pikachu here at the Pokemon store. Exclusive. Exclusive. Do you want an exclusive Pikachu? Yes. Okay, Keith really wants this one. Who's that? That's Goku. Goku. Oh! Is it that? Is that Goku? Uh, it is. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Yeah? Open it, open it. Yeah, I can see his legs. Yeah, I got it. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Awesome. Catch from works. We just saw some other guy trying to get it as well, we think. He got a blue ball and I'm very disappointed. I was gonna do it, I was gonna do it, but then he did it, so he got rid of the junky one. That's good, good, it worked one. out. Yeah, and this is our lunch. We may have ordered, over ordered. Yeah, I didn't realize you got so many noodles. Just a little. <laughs> these are soba noodles, which are delicious. I haven't tried these ones, but soba noodles are generally delicious. Mm -hmm. With buckwheat noodles. It's not as deep as you think it is, by the way. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and they're like cold noodles. Sushi with them. Yeah, we, yeah, we got sushi. So if you don't know how to eat soba noodles, you like pick them up from this and you dip them in the sauce. And you're like, oh, Okay, do that. Mm -hmm. This sauce? This sauce? Perhaps we should have come down here for lunch. There's just so many food places all of a sudden. I know. They look good. And this is Tokyo Hands. It seems to be some big department -y store thingy with lots of little cute Japanese -y things. It's like a lunch box. And there is three floors of it here in the Tokyo station. Some places to build, it's like a whole building. Where people build. Oh. That's it. Look at this coin box. You put the coin there, and the cat comes and takes the coin. I almost want to give it a coin, but I don't want to. And I don't know where we are, but we're on like nearly the top floor. Mm. Nearly the top floor of this station. And there's this cool little matcha place. I have no idea what's in here, but everything looks so good. I'm just waiting for a seat. Because, I don't know, I love matcha. We have no idea what we're doing. Seems fun. But it's incredibly hard because everything's in Japanese and there's only pictures here. We even can figure prices, this out. Even the prices are written in words. We can figure this out with pictures. I'm sure we can figure this out. Okay, after trying to struggle to get through the menu, she just came over and gave us an English menu. Yeah. How nice. And this is one of her orders. Apparently we have to make two orders because you have to have one per person. She came back, so I think we're gonna spend more money than we expected here. Oh well. It looks really good though. It's a pretty good order. Like pretty good serving size. It's a mat bowl of matcha. And two little cake things, which I thought would be just perfect for both of us. Mm, it's good. 
is the second thing we got. I don't know what it was, but it's a point of the picture. It looks like iced matcha with ice cream in it. Mm. Good? Mm. Sweet? Yeah. Looks good. This extremely busy place is Shibuya. Um, most people probably know it. It's a super busy place. And there's a really cool dog here. And I know this place from Persona 5 because I can see exactly how it looks in that game because it's set here. And there's. What's so special about the dog? The dog waited for his owner. Like every day they met at the train station, and then one day his owner died at work. But he still waited for him for years, and he came back every day and eventually he died. Aww. And basically, it's just to commemorate dog's loyalty to man. So you figured out the random Mentos machine? Yeah. This is the greatest machine thing ever. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Hi. So you can get five Mentos? Okay. Yeah. Maybe. No, it's still going. Okay, you get five Mentos. Fascinating. Yeah, That's more than five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm at eight. eight. I'm at the max. <sighs> that was worth it. Film me doing the Pringles. Okay. Um, what's the max you can get on this? Three, I think. Okay. Oh. 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 Oh, you only got one. I only got one Pringle. Aww. It's probably okay, I probably shouldn't have one Pringle anyway. Wait a minute. Sour cream and chives. It's cool, that was fun. It was fun. So Keith has been reading about, about Japan and apparently this is like some cool shop discount store you gotta go do to get to get um souvenirs and snacks and stuff. And there's a big floor guide over here. There are eight floors. Low price candy. Low Sweet. price candy. Processed food. <laughs> okay. Socks. Food truck. socks. The food truck in there. Where does it say socks? <gasps> socks. Food, food truck. truck. Okay, let's you go there. That socks not the fact that there could be a food truck in there. Yes. You can get basically anything you'd want in here. Look at all these flavors. We've got, we've, got so far. we've got three different kinds of flavors of Kit Kats. And, and this is the first floor. Yeah, we barely walked in. We walked down like three aisles. <gasps> Melon cookies, that's just delicious. Matcha roll cakes, custard cakes. Look at that. Mmm, I want everything. You know what I really want? Are some small crickets or some big crickets. Superworms. Superworms. Grasshoppers. Oh look, you can even get the trapper spears here. Cool. This place is so overwhelming. There's so many things and and there's so many things and I want it all, but we don't have enough a lot of time here. And we can't bring everything with us. <laughs> What's this? Oh it's cool. It's got the um the Japanese baseball teams on them. Hmm? Don't even know what it is. So one of the many things that we got were these Uji Hachicha flavored Kit Kats, just like brown rice tea. And they come individually wrapped. And now Keith is gonna try one on camera. They're a funny brown color. So cute. You know all Kit Kats are brown, right? No, but it's not like dark chocolate brown. Mm. It's like it's like poop brown. Okay. How is it? Mmm. Does it taste like tea? A little bit. It's good though. It tastes like white chocolate. Like 
And of course we had to get the sake flavoured ones. Mm. That's the best kick cat I've ever had. This is how we're ending our day with our cheap dinner. It's healthy, we got salad. There's salad. And pickles. And pickles. These are the best pickles. Salad and pickles and Nissen, big Nissen noodles. Nissen are the best noodles, by the way. The yeah. Japanese, if you didn't know. And it's not the car company, like no. I thought. It's Nissin, not Nissan. Did you know the guy who owns Nissen or invented Nissen? He invented instant noodles. Oh, really? I learned that at the Instant Ramen Museum. Where's that? Somewhere in Japan. Okay.